Hi friends, I'm here with a yoga offering. As always, please go at your own pace. Feel free to skip things or change things if they are not working for you and take care of your body as best you can. We'll be using some props today, so if you have them, grab them. You might need to be creative, things you have around your house. And we're gonna start in a supported fish. So if you have a couple yoga blocks, that's ideal. You could also use a rolled up blanket, a rolled up yoga mat, um, a couple books with a towel over it. Basically something is gonna go at the upper back, pretty high up, just low enough so the shoulders can fall off the end of the block. And then depending on how high this thing is, you may want something else supporting your head. I like to use a second block so that instead of the chin being way up in the air, it's more drop, the back of the neck is nice and long. Arms can be overhead or out to the side. Legs can be bent or straight. <sighs> if it's not feeling quite right, take your time adjusting. You may need to take it down a notch, go to a lower setting on your block or switch out the block for something softer like a cushion or rolled up blanket. Eventually settle into stillness. Letting the weight of your body release over your props. This is a wonderful position for opening up the chest, shoulders, upper back. If you spend a lot of time working at a computer or sitting at a desk, this is like a counter stretch for that. Keep scanning your body for unnecessary effort or tension and seeing, could you release even more? I love this pose because you don't have to be warmed up to do it. You can do it anytime. If you just have a few moments, it can be a great bang for your buck. It has many of the same benefits as deep back bending, which takes a lot more effort here. The main work is that of surrender. We'll get ready to release. One gentle way of doing so is to interlace your fingers behind your head, point your elbows up towards the ceiling, and then slowly lift your chin to your chest. I sometimes even get a couple back cracks as I'm coming out of this. And once you take the pressure off, you can lean to one elbow, move your props out of your way, roll back down. And just take a moment with your back flat. You can hug your knees to your chest or just rest your feet on the floor. Feeling the effect of where you just were. And then grab hold of your right knee, drop the left leg long, squeeze this knee in close. And then we'll straighten the right leg up towards the ceiling, holding somewhere behind your leg. Flex and point your foot a few times. Nice deep flex, full point. And then a few big circles, a couple times both directions.
Let's bend the knee back in, open the knee out to the right, and then straighten part way or all the way out to the side, grounding down through the back of the left leg. Release, bend your knee and bring it across your body for a spinal twist. Can open out through the right arm. Let your knee and shoulder release away from one another. And then staying in your twist, try straightening your right leg on a low diagonal, right arm on a high diagonal. And then roll back onto your back, bring both knees in. Take a little circle or rock with your knees, evening out your torso. And then grab hold of just the left knee, drop the right leg long. Squeeze this knee in close. Straighten this leg up, flex and point your foot a few times. Circle your ankle a couple times one way, a couple times the other. And then release, bend your knee in, open your knee out to the left, straighten part way or all the way out to the side, grounding down through the back of the right leg. Release, bend your knee, bring it across, spinal twist. First with a bent knee. And then straighten the left leg on a low diagonal, left arm on a high diagonal, letting the fingers and toes reach away from one another. And then release, roll back onto your back. Bring both knees in. <coughs> Let's take a little circle or rock with the knees. <sighs> Let's come into a supported bridge. We can now place the blocks or whatever props you've gathered under your sacrum. So a little bit lower than the lower back. You can experiment with the height. You might want things higher or lower. Use what you have available to you. <sighs> Letting the hips rest down, belly release. And then bring your right knee to your chest. Grab hold of your knee and then straighten the left leg and let this straight left leg hang towards the floor. So this can be a nice stretch for the front of the left hip, the hip flexor, which also can get really tight with a lot of sitting. Let's switch sides, bring the left knee in, drop the right leg long, squeeze this knee in close. Hmm. Imagine the front of the right hip yawning open, releasing. Bring both knees into the chest and you can either stay here 
or extend the legs up towards the ceiling, coming to a really relaxed inversion. Hips are higher than the heart. Try and find a position where it's almost like the legs are hanging. The bones are stacked and the muscles are just letting go as much as you can. Keep releasing what is there to let go of, stripping away everything that's not needed. And bend your knees back into your chest. Drop your feet back to the floor. And then move your props out of your way and roll down. Releasing back flat. Let's cross the right ankle above the left knee. Reach the hands through, grab the left leg and hug it in close, stretching the right outer hip. As you do this, drop your chin, drop the shoulders. We're going to keep the legs more or less how they are now. Release your arms and let the legs fall to the left. So the whole outside of the left leg comes to the floor and your right foot comes to the floor. You can open out through your right arm and then use your left hand to press the right knee away. So a little twist. This gets into a nice hip stretch for me. You may have to experiment if it's not working for you. Feeling around within your body. What do you notice here? And then we'll take a different variation of a twist. We're going to tuck the right shin under the left shin. So now the legs are crossed and they kind of pin themselves down. So a nice deep twist. Roll back onto your back. Take a moment to even out your torso on your mat, a little self-massage, rocking the knees around to massage the lower back. And then we'll drop the feet to the floor and take the same thing other side. Cross the left ankle above your right knee, reach your hands through, grab the right leg, hug it in close, inviting a deep stretch in your left outer hip. Hmm. 
Keep checking for reactivity as we go towards our limits, our edges. It's very natural to sometimes brace ourselves. We're in some ways mimicking a stressful situation so that we can observe our reactivity and then choose how we want to respond rather than just going habitual. There may be some situations where lifting your shoulders is protective and useful when you feel stressed, but for me, <laughs> it's rarely useful. <laughs> and so I still do it, but with conscious repetition, I can encourage my shoulders to drop. You might encourage your jaw to release, the muscles around your eyes to relax to slow down and deepen your breath, even as you're feeling what might be an intense stretch. Now we'll keep the legs more or less how they are. Release the arms and let your legs tip over to the right. So out side of the right leg comes to floor, left foot is on the floor. You can use your right hand to press your knee away, open out through the left arm. Let's go ahead and tuck the left shin under the right shin. So now legs are crossed, pinned to the floor, and you can open out through the left arm. Release, roll back onto your back, bring both knees in. Take a little circle or rock with your knees. You might take a happy baby, grabbing the feet and pressing the knees towards the floor. And then start getting your body comfortable ready for Shavasana. If you want to put some support under your knees or thighs, that may feel useful. If you want to cover up, you might finish with a little self-massage, a little rub to the jaw, the neck, the shoulders scalp, forehead, temples, anywhere that you know holds tension, you might just help encourage some release with touch. It could be your forearms, your belly, your feet, really anything. to the floor, releasing all the effort. Giving yourself the gift of stillness, of not doing anything.
slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. You can move your wrists and ankles. Take a big stretch out through your arms and legs. When you're ready, bring your knees in. And roll to one side. And then use your hands to help you up to sitting. Come to a comfortable cross-legged position. Bring hands together at the heart. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Feel free to reach out if you have any requests for future offerings.